Hi guys and welcome to today's video on nominal and effective interest rates which is the last of this section for if you're following along on the Cambridge Fellow Mass textbook or if you're just following along hello and welcome we are almost at the end of this section and one of the most interesting part of this course is I think is this video here if you are new to my channel or my uh, website thank you very much for joining uh, if you can do me the honor in the corner there is a little doohickey uh, that you can click and subscribe I'm never going to be rich never going to be famous um, but knowing that you are watching is actually important to me I tend to give up every now and again because I'm like people are more interested in watching cat videos and they are me talking about maths but I just want to be helped for two as many people as I can and there is a website massguru.com which has all the videos linked by textbook and by chapter with downloadable resources as well so head on over there if you can it's free to subscribe um, now normal and effective interest rates by the end of this you've got to know what a normal interest rate and what an effective interest rate is and I thought interestingly it's highly unlikely that any of you guys have probably taken out a loan uh, you're going to head into that minefield later on when you hopefully have a house of your own. But I want to have a look at the picture. What do you notice? Well, very large, uh, not that I'm trying to suggest that banks will try and trick you, but very large here is this massive 8%. You know, an 8% interest rate. Doesn't that sound awesome? Well, yes, it does. Until you look slowly down here at this per annum bit, that tiny little text in the corner hmm, interesting that isn't it now I sort of blew it up a little bit and it's got all these acronyms a e r one month 8.3 a e r three month 8.24 what on earth does that actually mean why are there different percentage rates given well ladies and gentlemen it comes down to a little bit of shifty accounting Ah, that's my view. I don't want to be sued. But yeah, we're going to notice that actually there's some very interesting stuff that goes on here. So a nominal interest rate, ladies and gentlemen, is one that is quoted as an annual rate. Nominal interest rate is an annual rate. And in this situation, um, we would give that as 8 PA, 8% PA or per annum. Okay, that suggests if they were going to pay interest once, and this is where it's important. If you were only going to be charged interest once or paid interest on an investment once, at the end of the year, you would get 8%. Seems sensible, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yes. So this annual rate, as I say here, is also called a nominal interest rate. Now, that 8% per year, believe it or not, can be split up into months or quarters or days or whatever else a bank wishes to do. Now, believe it or not, banks actually pay interest or charge interest daily. Uh, we don't tend to get that level down here in, um, in uh, this particular course, but we do deal with monthly, fortnightly and quarterly rates. And it's important that you understand how to calculate those. So an account will pay an interest rate of 3.6% per annum. That's 3.6% per year. What would that interest rate be on a monthly rate? Well, we know there are 12 months in a year, and so it is quite simple to go 3.6 divided by 12. No, don't press stop, not just yet, guys. This is a preview video and you've reached almost the end of it, but it does continue over on mathsguru.com. Masquerade.com. Yep, that's my custom website. Bits of it you can see around me at the moment. That has been designed to allow the videos to be easier searched than they are on YouTube. So you can search by chapter, by textbook. Each video has downloadable notes for you, so you can put them in your summary book or your exercise book. There are exam questions, and there is more and more content and more stuff coming as time allows. So head on over there. It's absolutely free to sign up and I'm doing everything I can to make sure that you guys enjoy maths and actually take out the mastery of maths. It is not as hard as you think. It is all smoke and mirrors. Okay, thanks very much. Take care guys. I look forward to seeing you in another video. Stay safe.